Have we got any life in the old battery? I say, how absolutely splendid! Really? Knock knock. Yeah, thanks. Knock knock. What? Knock knock. Hello. Knock knock. Who is it? Gladiator. Gladiator? I'm not expecting you for a couple of days. Knock knock. Not today, thank you. Knock knock. Do you mind? I'm trying to eat my lunch. Day or all day if I have to. Knock knock. Right, I'm, call I'm calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off off my doorstep before I set the dog on you. Uh, uh, listen, dog. There's some intruders. <laughs> Sounds vicious, doesn't it? Yeah, right, you are. Don't mess with my dog. He's a bastard. You are the sort of sad man who would have to impersonate his own dog. Now, I don't want you to be on the wonk, so. Oh, you'll do most splendidly there. I'm very happy with you being there, and uh, just thank you for your cooperation, really. I'm, I'm grateful. Uh, there we go. There we go. Now, Bolty and I are about to have lunch together, which is a rather common thing. And if you want to Excuse watch me, the I'm not working class. Shut your fat face. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to watch. I'm about to promote your video here. All right. Oh, fuck it. Don't watch his video. It's <laughs> shite anyway. I'm going to make sure that this video, my part is just all I do is just interrupt the flow of things. All right. Ah. I can guarantee you will not thank yourself for watching this video. You'll be, why did I spend 20 minutes? And I know the video is going to be an hour long, but they'll get 20 minutes in and think, fuck this. <laughs> this is the worst mustard and bolty do lunch video ever. And that's saying something. And I want my money back. Yeah. Yeah. Ninety-nine p a month. No, no, no. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Even if they're not paying for a membership, they're still going to feel disappointed by how much it's cost them. Right. Right. So yeah, go on to Mustard uh, uh, Bolty's channel if you want to watch the rest of this. What well, is that? It is that all you're recording? Well, maybe. Knock knock. Who's there? Gladiator. Gladiator. Gladiator who? Gladiator Freddy fucked her at the gangbang the other night and I thought she was nice and tight. By the end you get your fist in any orifice. Excellent. Thank you very much. I mean it was supposed to be funny wasn't it? Knock knock. Who's there? Thatcher. Thatcher who? Thatcher was again rugged at the gangbang the other night and I thought she was nice and tight. By the end you get your fist in any orifice. So that's the um, that's the thing you can do with any. It, knock knock. Who's there? <laughs> Jonathan Dimbleby. Jonathan Dimbleby. Who? I don't know the song. You do it. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Ivor. Ivor who? Ivor Massy Cruel. It's over again. Rang the other night when I thought you were nice and tight. By the end, you get your fist in the other fist. Well, I've gone for something a little bit different to the norm. Oh, yeah. The norm. The norm. Oh. Whereas I haven't. But I do wish. I always end up thinking maybe two naan bread would be better. We well, had two naan bread um, the other day, the other week. Did I? Yeah. Did I eat them both? Yeah. Right. Nearly all of them. I had a little bit. Oh yeah, because you were still hungry. Goodness, this is good. You don't like olives? They're okay, but I prefer Susan's. Olives are a little bit too large for me. I'm sure we've done that before. Quite possibly, but what can I do? We've been known for ages now. People won't remember what we did. Well, that's, that's to be fair. It's actually quite cold in here. Oh yes, that is a very nice bit of chicken curry. 
And this is a very nice bit of John kebab. Look at this. <clears throat> Red and meaty, just like your ring piece. Oh, yeah. You'd know. How would I know? Well, I presume that before you started brimming me, you had a look at the terrain ahead. Maybe it's time to release that video we did on Blackstone Edge. <laughs> <laughs> Have you still got that? It's on the channel. Oh, is it? Yeah. I just uploaded it and just left it as private. <laughs> the glove of self-love. Yeah, maybe we should. Maybe, maybe we should. I've forgotten about that. I think I'm going to be still hungry after I've eaten this. Do you? Mm. Right. Well, that'll become a self-fulfilling prophecy now that you've said it. How about some rice in the fridge? Mmm. This is so much better than what I've, what I've been having. What? Kabira? Mmm. Um. <clears throat> If you could vote, who would you vote for, Trump or Biden? Um, I'd probably just leave the country. You probably wouldn't be able to. The probability is that you wouldn't be able to. Well. Because mo the majority of Americans don't have a passport. That's true. <clears throat> And the, the majority of Americans think that you can't leave the country um, or there isn't anywhere else to go or, you know, if you go too far, you're going to hit the ice wall. Mm. A nice drink of sweet chilli sauce. Who's your favourite American? If you could invite an American to have lunch with us, who would you invite? Um, Kevin Spacey. Oh. Isn't he the one who got in a bit of a kerfuffle? Yeah, he's not that popular at the moment. But he's a very good actor. He was acquitted though, wasn't he? Yeah, but shit sticks. <laughs> Was that witness testimony at court? <laughs> this is a good night. I'm very satisfied. This reminds me ever so slightly of being about 10 years old and uh, <clears throat> my dad having a, a takeaway curry. The only thing is, like, I came in a tinfoil um, mm. things which um, somehow added to the, the excitement of a takeaway. Mm. I agree. But that um, lovely oniony sauce that was at the time way too hot for me to handle. Looking at it, I'm thinking, oh, I bet that's nice. You have a little tiny bit on the Indian tongue and go, oh, like that. Because you don't realise that you're a wimp. Was your dad the sort of chap who would say, um, have a little bit of this when you're looking at his takeaway? Or would he say, no, fuck off, it's mine. 
he was happy to share a bit. So, what was your normal takeaway when you were a kid? Didn't really have one, to be honest. It was a very rare thing, a takeaway. Well, I suppose actually the normal thing would have been chippy. Yeah. Do you remember having a, a chippy or thinking about having a chippy dinner as a treat? <clears throat> remember? Yeah, of course I do. I still think about it. It's what I hope for every Monday. <clears throat> I reckon we should go to the chippy. When next Monday? Yeah. We can have a word with um with the girl that works there. <laughs> and say, look, you've proven yourself to be a really friendly lass. All we need is another lady about. I can manage that. Now. Are you suggesting one of us should dress up as a woman? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a generation thing. Maybe, yeah. Good. Maybe she just looks at you and me and thinks, oh, grotty old men. Yeah. Yeah, they're coming here trying to be funny. Yeah, well, like one of them does anyway. You're telling jokes that I obviously don't get. <laughs> I'm far too I'm far too cool to get your jokes. But that's what it is. It probably is. I can remember being that age and thinking you sad old person when somebody tried to be amusing. Oh. You know what? I remember thinking that my dad was too friendly. With you? No, no, just people in general. People he didn't know. And um, friends' dads weren't like that. They were all a bit too standoffish. And I kind of thought that was a bit more cool. And so <clears throat> whilst I was uh, becoming a teenager, I didn't want to be friendly. I thought it's not cool being friendly, is it? Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, wow. Did you have a bedroom to yourself when you were a kid or did you share with your brother? Oh, never had my own bedroom. Never? No. Gosh. Well, I might have done it until I was two. Right. I would have hated that. I did hate it. You need your own space, don't you? Yeah. If you had millions of pounds in the bank, would you sort of share a bedroom with Mrs. Mustard? That's an interesting question. <clears throat> if I had millions of pounds, I would have a different house. I'd have one where, if I wanted to go to sleep somewhere else, I could do. Yeah. So I wasn't disturbing it when I came to bed much later. Um, and the trouble with that is that you would end up using it. Oh, yeah. Um, but more than that, I just like actually somewhere, I'd like a studio where I can do all of my mum things. When I go, when I edit videos in the evening, I often end up thinking, I, I, I could do it going somewhere else to do this. Because I want to do new bits to it, rather than just putting all the bits together that I have. Like voiceover stuff. Yeah, but we've just, we've only got two bedrooms. So it's just not really possible.
Well, <clears throat> that was fantastic. It's done blue. Good curry. The best bit is always the bit at the bottom where you're really savouring that little bit, the little bit of sauce, because you're not full up. Oh. That's why you always need to leave a bit of naan bread. <coughs> of course, if any of you are interested in what I consider to be the world's ultimate curry, do remember that I am now selling Nepali staff curry. Take my first order. <coughs> oh. Why did it bring some here? What? Oh, I know why. Because you don't want to eat it during the day as well, do you not? Uh, yeah, I like my, you know, Monday is my takeaway treat. It's the only one I ever get. Now, for most people, staff curry would be a treat, but I eat it four times a week. Yeah. And when you do something all the time, it doesn't completely cease to be a treat, but it's not as much of a treat. It's like, it's a brilliant thing every time you do it, but you never quite get the same thrill from, you know, a bit of anal as you did that first time. Oh, no. There you go. <clears throat> what do you mean I don't? You may well be talking to the <laughs> anal king. <laughs> the king of rectal stretch outs. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's anybody called Mrs. Spinkton. <clears throat> Hello, my name's Mustard. Now, the other night, I'm ashamed to say that I left Mrs. Mustard Sphincter hanging loose like the mouth of a tired dog. That is a wonderful impression of me. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. When you did an impression of me, you always go higher voice, but my voice is deeper than yours. <laughs> well, <clears throat> that'd be why then. <clears throat> There's that when I was doing my impression of a Lego man. Now then! <laughs> yeah, it's difficult to keep it up. Yeah. As the bishop said to the actress. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I did deliberately leave that there for you to take advantage of. Yeah. you said that before, haven't you? Up to you. <laughs> <laughs> How many minutes in? 18. Are you bored yet? No, man. Not you, your viewer. Oh, he'll be bored. Hmm. Could do with two colours rather than just one. Quite a small portion of curry, really. I mean, that's the kind of portion I have, but I have it with rice. Yeah. And one quarter of a naan bread. <clears throat> have you ever watched any of these food challenge YouTube? channels, things. Mm, what kind of challenge? Mm. There's a whole YouTube phenomenon and they have millions of followers where people go around the world just taking on these food challenges where if you can eat this ridiculous amount of food you get Oh, that kind of challenge, right, yeah. Um, <clears throat> no, I am. I, I don't really... Um, see the appeal in that. 
Um, the only thing that's likely to happen is if you do it an awful lot, you could end up having a stroke or something, couldn't you? Yeah, I, do. I wondered about that. Somebody was going on about one in the comments, so I had a look. And this guy's trademark thing, which would be all right as a one-off, but to do it in every single video, I think, how do you keep getting away with that? Is he'll do this ridiculous challenge thing where you have to eat whatever it is, five kilograms of steak in four hours, something like that. And he'll do it, and then he'll ask for the dessert menu. And that's funny once, but then it's not funny anymore. Right, yeah. Like all these um, recurring jokes, though, they're, they're only ever funny <clears throat> if you don't quite expect it, but you get it straight away. That's the, the ultimate joke. But the thing was, because I watched that little bit of one video, YouTube gave me some others that I might want to look at, which I didn't. No. But all of the people doing these food challenges were thin. Right. So, do they just do one of these food challenges once a week and not eat in between? Or as soon as the camera's turned off, do they go and throw up? And are they all in fact um, bulimic? I would imagine if you if you stuck that amount of food in you and then chucked it all back up, you probably wouldn't want to eat for the rest of the week because of how ill you would feel. <clears throat> are they usually younger people? Younger people generally have a have a higher, uh, well, quicker metabolism, don't they? Mm. Um, and it also depends on what kind of thing you're eating. If it's anything bready jesus you can't eat shit loads of that you'd just be absolutely heaving wouldn't you mm. meat's okay meat you can you you don't really have any effects of uh, feeling bloated after eating meat but um a giant pizza i think you would do oh that was one a of them. bath full of rice that was one of them the gordon ramsay um eat as much as you want pizza challenge thing right when somebody went to beat the world record. <clears throat> Would you be willing to make yourself uncomfortable or put your health at risk in order to have a bigger YouTube channel? Yes. Really? <laughs> I don't know. No, I just thought I'd answer that really firmly. Yes. I think um, you probably would. Well, we do anyway, don't we? To a degree. Well, what do we do that's risky? Associate with each other. We'll do that. Um, <clears throat> depends on to what degree if you're talking about where you eat a, a whole week's worth of food in one go ah. uh, <clears throat> well for, for one thing I don't think I would find oh that gas still is on actually yeah oh, a little bit of heat yeah I wouldn't really find that particularly interesting to keep doing. But if we've got you a million subscribers. Well, then you can afford the food if you can't eat it all. That's what I would do. But then you wouldn't get so many subscribers by actually just paying for your own grub, would you know? Mm. They'd just go, I'm not subscribing to this. Anyone can buy their own food. I presume. What must it be like to have a million subscribers, eh? Can you imagine actually really nailing this and getting to the point where actually you can just do whatever you like because all you've got to do is film it. Be nice, wouldn't it? I, I think so, yeah. I think it would suit it to, to us too, actually. When we get to that point, that's when we should properly launch the doings of Mustard and Boaty. That's yeah. when we are. But let's say... Let's say between us, we've got a million subscribers. Okay. That, that's the golden moment. Yeah. That's when it will take off um, to, to do something completely new. Ah. 
and the only way that it would work is, is if <clears throat> it was genuinely actually quite good <laughs> and not just winging it. It'd have to be the kind of thing that anybody could Oh, like. I don't know. That's arguable. Is it? That's arguable. Mm. I would argue that once you get to um, a certain level of popularity... You don't have to be good any longer. Yeah. Right. I mean, and I don't mean any offence by this. No, no, you don't. But my evidence, if you like, for that would be Hubner. Oh, don't pick on Hubby again. Is is Hubby better now than he was when he had 20,000 subs? No. No, I don't think so. I don't think so either. No. And he's not even doing the same material. He can do anything, literally anything, and he'll get great views. Yeah. Doesn't have to be good. Yeah, so the hunger then goes a bit like um, a young rock band when they have the first and second album. The, the, you know, the only way they get anywhere is by being fucking fantastic. Mm. And then after that, they don't need to be, so they don't bother. Mm. <clears throat> Oh, I do uh, apologise that. 50 minutes. Huh? Oh, no, 50 seconds. 50 seconds worth of video. That's, huh? that's what that is. The, you know why, don't you? Sorry, I'm not listening. You don't have to listen. You just have to agree. Okay. Do nod your head, please. Oh, Jesus. I didn't know that about you. I can feel some editing coming on. Oh. I've just had a friend request from Beethoven. Lord Wig Van Beethoven. Literally? Yeah. I reckon he's not even alive any longer. Can't be the real man, can it? Well, it could be somebody else called Ludwig Van Beethoven. Could and be. if that's his real name, uh, yeah. then he's a real man. Yeah. Who's the most famous person you'll open the insults on your YouTube YouTube channel? That I do or mm. have? Well, that you do on a regular basis. Oh, um. Uh. God, that's a tricky one. Um. Oh, I didn't really mean to catch you out so easily. Yeah, I'm not cold, but my fingers are. Probably Charlotte Dobre. Oh, right, yes. I was very insulting about her. Yeah. Yeah, but the question is, how famous is she? Because I've never heard of her until you told me about her. Well, how do you how do you assess the level of somebody's fame? Well, they don't know him. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, she's got more subscribers than Hubner. Yeah. She's got more subscribers than James. Yep. She's got more subscribers than James. And Hubner put together. And Hubner and Matt yep. and um, and somebody else big. She's got more subscribers than Drive Drive. Oh, so what? Three million subscribers plus? Mm -hmm. That'd be something, wouldn't it? It'd be something. Yeah, but she's not really any good, I take it. Oh, what? what uh, uh, is what she does entertaining at all? I suppose it must be. So you, you don't know who you're insulting then, do you not? Yeah. Have you watched her videos? <clears throat> Just the one where she mentioned you. <laughs> yeah, but that's not what she's most famous for, is it? <laughs> Imagine if it was. No, I don't mean... The Name dropping you. And <laughs> I don't mean the video about me. I mean, YouTube isn't what she's most famous for. Oh, right, I don't know. She's an actress and comedian. <clears throat> and, credit where it's due, she's got a nice pair of hooters. Right, okay. Well, yeah, I'm sure that she'll thank you for uh, saying that's her greatest asset. I'm not saying it's her greatest asset. I'm just saying she's got a nice pair of hooters. It is one that you do appreciate. Hmm. Yeah. And I, I don't know how. You, I don't find you <laughs> funny, but you're not. <laughs> great. And I put that on my video. Did you? Yeah. Ah. 
with um, and it uh, cut to a picture of her in a bikini. Right. What I actually said in the video was, um, and as you can see in this picture, she has a lovely pair of eyes, or hooters, as they're known in America. <laughs> Which I thought was a really good line. I was it, very it, pleased it, with it. It's that. a very good line, actually. <clears throat> oh. oh, dear. By Jove, I've eaten a lot there. Gosh. Well, that's, yeah, that's definitely our video. Um, oh, you did the time lapse? Yeah. Okay. I do that kind of thing quite a lot, if you haven't noticed. Right. Waiting outside a scrapyard in Bolton. Is that Ludwig van Beethoven just pinging you? Uh, no. <coughs> do you know what I think you should do now? What's that? I think you should go onto a YouTube channel. Uh, fine. No, a YouTube channel run by a lady. Okay, let's do um, a random one. Yeah, pick a random one. <clears throat> Let's go for home then, and just go. Well, the first one that comes up that's run by a lady. Oh, by a lady? Oh, I don't know. <gasps> Should I put in lady YouTube channel? No. <laughs> no, don't, please don't do that. The only, uh, well, hang on. Do, who am I subscribed to is a lady. There will be Alex's Assets and um, uh, Hooked on Classics. So I could go for one of those two, and and that, that's where I'm about to find out that you, what you're about to ask me isn't really going to be appropriate, isn't it? Now, what I'm going to suggest Alex's is Alex's assets. Okay, I suggest you leave a comment on the most recent video, saying, um, "Hi, I don't really like your videos. They annoy me slightly. I just wanted to say I think you've got a great pair of norks." <sighs> Right, okay. Come on. Oh. That's the gas gun. Just went with a, an orange puff. Yeah. Do you know any orange puffs? Only Michael Bailey. It's Alex and it's windy. Now, this is going to be a short video. Right. Can I have a look at that? I've no, no idea who this is. Oh, it's her! Yeah. Right, I watched um, about five minutes of one of her videos about a year ago. Did you? Yeah. Hello, Alex. Brosie says you've got a great <laughs> pair of knocks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Alex. Oh, shit. Alex. <laughs> I've accidentally pressed send on that one. Except, um, you know, she won't take offence. Have you actually left a comment? Yeah. Me. Fuck off. You haven't left a comment. I have. You haven't. I have. You haven't. Why don't you do your own challenge? I'm not going to challenge you to do something. Okay. Right. The first. Because you know me, I'll just do it. <laughs> okay then. All right. The first person you're a subscriber to that you think might be just a bit more camp than you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Ask them if they fancy a camp off. Okay. <laughs> What a way to get famous. Uh, leave it as a comment on their video, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Subscribers. You got a lot of mine, aren't you? No. <clears throat> okay, this is the latest video. Energy supplies don't want you to know about this trick to warm up houses for practically zero cost. This space heat. Lately, one way I've been able to help keep my mental health a priority has been through therapy using BetterHelp. After graduating college and now being a young man, it is sweet. But man, in the after test. That sounds like Roll Joe. Right then, love. Just to prove that, um, <coughs> just to prove that, um, 
that unlike Mustard, I'm a real man, oh, over and above. I'm going yeah. to hand my phone to Mustard so he can read the comment that I've left and he can press send. There you go. What comment? There isn't one there. Oh, for fuck's sake. What have you done? I haven't done anything. What the fuck's happened there? Oh, fucking hell. I've just, have I got to type that all out again now? Probably. Hello, welcome to this video that you're still watching, welcome to this video that you're still watching, why are you still watching it? Past five minutes it's just been making messages to not send Right, now don't fuck it up. What do you mean I didn't fuck it up? Right. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that gun? Yes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yep. <coughs> so there you go. <coughs> Never let it be said that I duck a challenge. Okay, and so I think it's fair to say that you won that then. Because you didn't send anything, did you? I did. No, you didn't. I did. What did you put? Nice in here. I said, this is a lovely video. Alright. See, that's you, disingenuous. You, you haven't watched it. Yeah. And you never will. Oh, thank you for... You're welcome. ...being the featured comment on my 1919 video tonight. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. What is it? Well, you know how I highlight one... Uh, on my Boat is Noshes, um, where you... At the end of Otis Nashes, it always finishes with a highlighted comment from the last week's video. No. Yeah, I do. And I pick a different one each week. This week it's you. Is it? Yeah. Which comment was that then? Um, couldn't be asked to watch this. Sorry, <laughs> not sorry. Project <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> when was that? Well, you've never done it. I just made it up. Oh, right. Hey, sure I've commented on one of your videos quite recently. The irony is that you <laughs> wouldn't be asked to say that you couldn't be asked. You just That's not it. true. That's not true. So the point is, I've just won that challenge because, and you can check this out. If you go onto that video, you can see my comment, which says, Hi, would you be interested in a camp off? Whose video was it? Well, it's his, isn't it? Yeah, but who's him? Uh, Blot. Oh, Blot. Yeah. Oh, he won't mind, will he? I don't know. Nah. Do you reckon he's a bit camp? No. He does camp enough, doesn't he? Yeah. That's probably what he's thinking. That's yeah. what you're thinking. Oh, right, yeah, he wants some sort of camping challenge. You're right. Not knowing <laughs> the way that your mind goes. And he's uh, handed his notice in at work. Has he? Yeah. What, because he's doing so well on YouTube? Yeah. Oh. So that means he'll be free for lunch on a Monday. It does, yeah. Have you asked him? Not yet. <clears throat> I imagine that since I've just asked him if he'd be interested in the camp off, he might be less interested. Nah. Right, so it's my turn to challenge you. Go on then. Well, same challenge. You've got to, you've got to go onto a female YouTuber's channel, <coughs> go, to the, <coughs> go to the most recent video and say, Hi, I don't really like your videos. They annoy me slightly. I just wanted to say you've got a lovely pair of dogs. See? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right okay um the the female lady i know the best is probably simone but i don't think she'd take that as a joke too much she's probably thinking that actually finally come out as a creepy bearded bloke <laughs> i don't really want that and not only that other people would read and go Oh, Canal, they show you shoot true colours now, isn't he? Well, and you would giggle at all the unsubscribers, and at the sudden we do a, a live stream, and like people go, "Oh yeah, mustard, we've seen what you've done." We'll go to a different channel then. Go to a channel you don't think any of your sub subscribers will see, and then you'll get away with it. But you've got to do it now. I've done mine. Well, I've got right, but if, if I've got to do it just to keep up with you, yeah, right. 
Well, otherwise, I, you know, I'm a better man than you. Oh, well, I'd happily accept that. <laughs> I don't want you to accept you that. You just be a better man. No, you just put your big boy's pants on and tell a nice lady that her videos are shit, but she's got lovely dogs. That's the kind of thing you could possibly get blocked for. Do you, I mean one of Mrs. Hubnett? <laughs> yeah. She'd be flattered. Would she? Oh, yeah. Have you seen the geese over there? Uh, not today. I've seen them before. You're not going to do it, are you? You're going to wimp out. What a disappointment. What a letdown. Oh, dear. Fuck you. I don't put them on yours. No. Why don't you do it on your mustard in the, mustard in the kitchen channel? That hasn't got any subscribers, so you can't lose any. Oh, gosh. I mean, that's... When I first started doing YouTube with my guitar stuff, I did see quite a lot of people uh, getting their name around by just simply commenting on other people's videos. Yeah. You know, like they just comment on as many as possible. So then you'd have, <coughs> you'd have people intrigued to just go and see who it was, and they go, all oh, right, yeah, I'll subscribe to that. A bit of a shit way, a bit of a long-winded way of doing it. You can't do it there, can you? Of course you can. No, but if you click on somebody's name in the comment, it doesn't take you to their channel. Oh, right, I see what you mean. Yeah, maybe that's why, although I doubt it. So you can't lose any subscribers, so get it done. Don't tell me I can't lose any subscribers. Get it done! I've only got 129 of them. Get it done! I am tempted, I must say. Just pick a random one. Pick an American one. Ah, yeah. Because if you do this, genuinely do it, yeah. you can set me another challenge. Can I? Yeah. That, that's the thing, though, is it because you want to do another challenge? Because you, you rejoice at the idea of embarrassing yourself. No, I just want you to do this. <coughs> So I can find it and screenshot it and start a social media campaign against you. Thanks. Thanks for... Uh, get, you, get you cancelled. Get it cancelled. Get you cancelled. Should we have a cup of tea? That's a good idea. Right, let's wrap this one up at that, shall we? Wrap it up. So, wrap um... Wrap it up. Uh, wrap it up. Thank you. Wrap it up. And wrap it up. Wrapping up the end of the video, sticking it in a box, <laughs> putting a little label on it, and so you know what it is. Sticking it in the cupboard. <laughs> you got more minutes out of your video now. Joe Cox in a box. Now you do a subscriber situation thing. Hope not in a book plug. <laughs> that doesn't rhyme. <laughs> and how could he be in a in a butt plug? It, it would have to be vice versa. It just came straight out like the oh shit, there's a sharp bit there. Your turn. Well, you haven't technically you haven't done one, have so you? So I failed. Okay. You get another point then, won't you? I've a spotty butty on the potty. <sighs> Look at Bolty's world if you want your toes curled. Right, I can only apologise. Um, <laughs> do join us the next time that Mustard and Bolty do, do lunch. lunch. Honestly. Self-love.